A warning tonight for potential fraud victims this tax season. If you get a 1099 G form in the mail, but you never applied for unemployment benefits, someone else may have in your name. CBS 2's Tara Molina is working for Chicago, investigating the next steps that you should take, talking to an expert and asking how the state is responding. We know fraud in our state's unemployment system has been an issue for months, but now that it's tax season, that issue just got a little more complicated. Here's what you need to know. 962,000. That's how many fraudulent unemployment claims IDS has stopped since March 1st, according to the agency's spokesperson. What they don't know. How many of these tax forms are about to go out to people who never applied for unemployment benefits? If you have received a 1099G in error, press 1. It's the issue behind this brand new message just added to IDES's line. If you have other questions about your 1099G, press 2. A 1099-G form needs to be filled out when filing taxes if you've gotten money from IDES. But if you haven't and you get one of these in the mail, you could be a victim of unemployment fraud. If you are contacting IDES to report potential fraud. If you do, the first step is to report the fraud by calling that number we just showed you. IDES also recommends placing alerts with the major credit bureaus. But an outstanding concern tonight with address change forms tied to fraudsters also going out right now. What happens if the IRS gets one of these in your name, but you don't? And so when they're waiting for their tax refund, they'll get this notice from the IRS that they have unclaimed income uh, attached to their name that they're going to then have to clear. We had a number of follow up questions for IDES on this issue and others. A spokesperson told me once those 1099 G forms are distributed, They'll follow up with some more information and answers to our questions then. For CBS2 Working for Chicago, I'm Tara Molina.